today we have my beautiful sister Alex here joining us. Hey guys, I'm known as the App Queen mm -hmm. and I have absolutely no idea what we're making today, but sister and mom are gonna put me to work and we're gonna make some delicious treats. What are we making? A we surprise treat! I know, it's so good. <laughs> well, what we're making are these little zucchini pizzas. I had this idea that zucchinis, it's like, these are perfect bite size and for the holidays you want something that you can put out, people can grab mm -hmm. and go. Mm -hmm. Alex loves her apps like she said. Aperitivo. And so we're making it a little bit more seasonal right now. We still have some zucchinis in our farmer's market. Totally. And different we have varieties. different varieties. So we have the regular green zucchini and this is a Mexican zucchini. Mm -hmm. This sometimes can be sweeter and so you want to get it so they're not too seedy and big. Yeah, right? but if I liked, I wanted bigger bite sizes, like these are just two bites, but mm -hmm. any size will work. What I like about this is it kind of brings us back to our childhood. We were obsessed with zucchini sticks. Yes. Those were fried and we did them in ranch. So this is like a little healthier spin, a grown up version of zucchini pizza. Oh, and I'm like, oh, zucchini sticks. I love it. Well, and so what I decided to put on it because Alex loves her pesto and her little cheese. Right, so yeah. we have our homemade pesto, which you can actually find that recipe on currygirlskitchen.com, how to make. And as Pegs has demonstrated what we're doing to get these slices. So Al, you wanna try this? It's just literally, you just take your finger and just keep moving it back. And just I say don't you won't light it off. That's right. Just exactly. don't cut it off. You're so going your for like a right quarter inch. inch. Do I have to? No, you I mean you can put it down here. No, I'm scared yeah, nice. like that. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I We're all fear. learning something. I, I have a fear of this. <laughs> perfect. Good. Well, we don't need to cut this whole thing because we have okay. a lot over here. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Good. good. Yeah, this is awesome. Great. My nails are also making marks. <laughs> I love it. So this, we're going to put the zucchinis in there and then mom has olive oil over there and we're just going to drizzle the olive oil on this mm -hmm. and then toss them. All right. Me? Go. Yeah, toss, toss them. Get okay. your hands dirty. And I have a little thing here. Get a towel for you. And make sure they're all nice and coated. And then while she's tossing this, we have parchment lined baking sheet here and we are just going to evenly spread them out on here so that they're not on top of each other so they can get nice and boom roasted. So and go for it? Yeah, mm -hmm. put them on. Okay. And while she's doing that, I'm going to put a little salt. And you can actually eat these raw, like seriously. Raw works totally well yeah. with this too. So you just want to make sure that when you're roasting these that you don't want to overcook them because then they get a little mushy. So that's... Or do because that's how I like to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be eating them with a spoon, Meg. <laughs> so what's the, what's the way to get them crispy? How long you put them in? So the oven has been preheating at 400 degrees. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. We're going to put these on or are we going to mm. lone soldiers? No, no, no. We, we can put them on. Fit okay. them in. Yeah. Okay. No zucchini left behind. That's yes. Right. So, oven's been preheating 400 degrees and we're going to put them in for about 30, 25 to 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Or less, depending or on less. how crispy. Exactly, depending on how cooked you want them. <laughs> and just like magic, <laughs> they're cooked. <laughs> yeah, so this is what they'll look like if you roast them in the oven at 400 degrees for the full 20, 30 minutes. Okay. And now, they got a good. Yeah, you can yeah. tell. It's, it's 50 so 50. There's some, there's some mush and there's some stiff ones. Yeah, because good. depending on how thick that they were cut. Exactly. <laughs> so, hashtag food porn. This, we are going to first start with the pesto. So I'll you just want a little dollop. Here, you want to hand me the And then, mom, you're going to do the like cheese. Like that, no more. That's, yeah. per, I mean, however much you I want. Mean, I, would co I would cover the zucchini. Yeah, so do like a nice, do a generous portion of the pesto. This is okay. a good site. Yeah, and then this is mm -hmm. what you're gonna do. Just fill the tray, put a little of the pomegranate, and this is the thing: is like these. This is wonderful vegetarian option, pomegranate seeds. But if you like your meat, doing some like pancetta on here mm. or a little bacon, bacon. crumble. Alex mm. loves her meat. But during the holidays, you know, it's nice to kind of have different options. And I think the the pink pomegranate seeds just well. And and if you don't. You can't find the pomegranate seeds? Go for a cranberry or another dried fruit that you like. Figs, dried figs would be amazing. Yeah, very true. Yeah. So for this full recipe, you can go to currygirlskitchen.com. You can visit us on Instagram, <laughs> Facebook, Twitter. <laughs> at Curry Girls Kitchen. Yes. And if you don't follow my lovely sister over here, you can follow her on all of her social media at Alex underscore underscore under 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 cool. <laughs> under so cool. Alex underscore Curry Snapchat Alex R Curry 
Uh, Twitter and Instagram Oops. are both Alex underscore Curry. I'm getting really carried away with this pesto here. When am I allowed to like this? So good. Good. You can lick this spoon you know, now. Yes, you can see what we're gonna do totally here. Totally lick the spoon in here. You can wipe your hand so like you don't so. get all messy. Look at your skin. Totally. And it's so festive. I love it. This is perfect, right? For holiday parties. Yeah, anything. I was gonna say it's it's a really easy, quick way to sh like show people how creative you can be with cooking and accommodating. You can do like half with the pomegranates, half with the bacon, and make everyone at your little holiday party super stoked. Yes, you're oh, fine. That is what beautiful. You think? Well, I'm digging in. I mean, I love everything about this. Yay! Thank you, guys. Mm. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Mm. And if you don't subscribe, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you mm. know when we post yeah, fun yeah, recipe man. videos like this. So good. Yeah. I love the crunch of the pomegranate seeds. Mm. Tell me about it, Mom. I know. <laughs>